Hi, I'm Fred Van Lu, and I have one very incredible communicator, uh, entrepreneur, uh, child star, uh, one of the top uh, TV uh, uh, series at, at one time, and but today this woman speaks before 20,000, 25,000 people at a time, and yet one-on-one, -on -one, she is a miracle worker in helping individuals express themselves clearly and in a way that truly comes from the heart. She also, where I find her most helpful, is keeping people like me from putting my foot in my mouth and not pushing it over to make room for my other foot in my mouth. <laughs> she helps us avoid the conflicts in the workplace, in our personal relationships, where whether it's with the opposite sex or the same sex, have you ever found yourself in an uncomfortable place? Uh, all of a sudden it's like, whoops, and you don't know how to get out of it, and or someone else has caused you to feel that way. And Kari is a master, like no one else, at showing us how to avoid that. Isn't that true, Kari? And how to get out of it. And I have watched Kari take, I mean, really wealthy, really successful business uh, people. I mean, I was there watching her and taking them through how they would diffuse a very bad situation in the workplace where they had an outstanding uh, employee who was just wreaking havoc in the rest of the workplace. But uh, you're either going to have to fire that employee or find a way to get that employee to come in line and stop the behavior that was not only self-destructive for the employee but very destructive for the office. And I watched Kari literally perform a miracle right before my eyes with this, particularly this one uh, individual. And so I want to just ask Kari, uh, how do you take individuals who want to learn to communicate uh, better, whether it be through their just something as little as a business card, or if they want to communicate uh, on the phone more appropriately, if they want to communicate at business meetings, or if they want to communicate in the home, or how do you take people who might want to even communicate on the media mm. uh, and don't let me overstep? Are you able to do this with others? Um, yes, absolutely. And, and the neat thing about it is it's not something that I was naturally born with. Um, I actually had a lot of my own challenges communicating. And so um, it's definitely transferable because these are skills that I learned from other people when I was struggling to uh, you know, communicate better in my own life. And I found the, the magic of being able to understand other people. I think it's a combination of things. It's, it's, it's um, really recognizing that we are really all motivated by different things. And I think a lot of people take personality type tests and whatnot, and they learn what their type is and all of that. Most people have been exposed to that many times. But I had never been exposed to how do I then speak in that other personality type's language. Because most of us are trying to motivate other people to understand us by what motivates us, as opposed to being able to immediately identify what somebody else's needs are. It's what are they looking for? What, you know, what's, what is their need? And how can I help them you know, achieve their goals, their business goals, their personal goals? And so that's the simple process. It's just really teaching people how to immediately identify what motivates another person, what their needs are, what they're trying to achieve, and then teaching them how to communicate in an effective way, um, whether it's like I said, with a child, with a spouse, in a business, with your staff, with your superior, with your boss. And uh, it, the amazing thing about that is it really makes a bottom line difference in the quality uh, of your relationships in business and at home and will absolutely affect the profitability of any business. What I found and what I really enjoy about how you uh, handle communication, Kari, is you're not teaching people like me how to dance on eggshells when around other people, mm -hmm. trying to speak like they need to hear me speak, which I've always hated. You know, I'm me, and they're them. But you make it practical, and what I can do, and to make myself more comfortable, 
around them and how they need to hear me. It still is about me. I want them to understand that Un I want to understand, understand who you are. Yes. I can only control me. You're in tune with that. And that's very different than this, well, you've got to learn to talk like them or something. No. Oh, absolutely. And, and you No, you have to. It's not about changing who you are. You have to be your authentic self. But, but it is about you being able to more quickly recognize what somebody because people don't really care about what we want mm -hmm. they care about what they want mm -hmm. and so we have to always be mindful about how can we serve other people and if we have something to share knowledge a service a product whatever it is obviously we want to share it with the world because we think it's valuable and it has purpose but we have to learn how to communicate and find out what their needs are because it may not be exactly what we think it is if we don't f immediately identify how to fill that need and then also be able to communicate that effectively in their language because people who are achievers and drivers and you know a type personalities they have a different language than somebody who is maybe more of a giver somebody who is more uh, motivated by being of service there are different like literal words and language to be able to have those people communicate effectively effectively. So it's pretty, it's, it's extremely simple and it's one of the things that is important for people not only when they're dealing one-on-one -on -one, but if they're in a small group, management meetings, doing a small presentation or if they are like I have communicated on a platform in front of 25,000 people. I've watched and worked with some of the top communicators and they understand how to talk to all the different, there's four main ones that most people know and different divisions of those and we all have parts of those in our personalities but they know how to communicate to all of those people at different moments throughout the presentation and if people don't understand that and have an awareness of how to do that they are not going to be effective in the way that they'd like to and I say and this is true and they've done statistics on this we've done studies on this people are losing about 50 to 75 percent of their business and their ability to connect or serve people if they don't know how to do this. Hmm. I, I get a kick out of the fact that, I mean, you've been on the stage with Colin Powell repeatedly and Laura Bush and, I mean, huge communicators. Uh, as you say, some of the, you know, Brian Tracy, some of the, the, the most successful people at getting their message across mm -hmm. to other people. And being who you are, you've been absorbing, analyzing, deconstructing and just learning how to communicate like that for many many years and more importantly it's your heart's desire it is your passion what I love though is you have a young son yes you have to deal with the realities that everyone else does you know driving and communicating in a way that makes sense with a schedule that many people would call insane at times <laughs> and yet you always remain real and I would say what is most appealing is all right how can I remain real and yet improve my communication skills without being manipulative or anything like that and that's what you're about you're about being real mm -hmm. you're about improving communication you're about avoiding those uh, tense situations those uncomfortable situations compromising situations with again whether it's with the opposite sex or you know the same sex and just you enhance the quality of life by allowing someone like me to be more effective and basically have the joy more times during the day than I might have experienced in the past. Mm -hmm. past. That's what I see uh, so valuable in what you offer people. Well, I appreciate you saying that because that's one of the things that I love to see in somebody like you who is so loved and adored by many people, but you know, the, the like you say, the male-female communication gender gap, you know, that we have the communication gap is not, it's so simple to resolve it, but one word or, uh, you know, one statement can shut the other person down between the male and the female and you see so it. instantly, and you right? See it. And you I do it and you go, oh! Right. And, but I, how, do you, how do you get out of it and, now? And that's the thing. 
is how do you recover? And that's one of the things that I know, I do know how to teach people is how to instantly recover from, because we're all going to say things I and like maybe. That. I like that word instant. instant. No, it's instant. And it is instant. And um, that's really powerful. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, uh, I think you've actually seen me do that before. Oh, I, 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 was, I was in front of a group of people. You were there. And I was teaching something. And I was trying to make a point, And I called on one person. And her answer just was not helpful to what I was trying to achieve. And I just made what I considered a, a humorous comment, but absolutely destroyed her. She already had a, a self-esteem issue. and. And I was unaware of it because I just moved on and all, and you saw it instantly and in such a perfect manner. And instantly, you brought it up in a way that made me aware, in a way that made that person aware that someone was aware that this might have injured her. And you set me up perfectly and instantly to where I could apologize mm -hmm. and basically rebuild the trust with that person. I mean, I saw this and I go, God, this girl is good. But And maintain the respect that, that that student of yours already had for you. Do you that's, know what I mean? Because I, mean. I knew that you didn't say this in, in any way to hurt or, uh, you know, criticize right. or to belittle that person. But, and it wasn't a person that, it was, that knew me very well. People that know me, they would know, oh, there's Fred again. But as you know, sometimes mm -hmm. those humorous comments, they can, you know, and if you, if you do that and you shut somebody down and that's in a business relationship, right. if, sometimes people say things and then they just, they just don't, either they don't recognize how it's affected someone else sure. or they don't know how to recover from it. Mm -hmm. If you think about about business relationships, companies that have fallen apart as of one conversation between two business partners that went dark, mm -hmm. um, you know, relationships, marriages that have fallen apart as a result of that, family dynamics, in-laws, I mean, it, it, it covers the board and it, it, recovery, it can be so instantaneous and actually can bring, and if you think about this, the experience that we had, mm -hmm. can bring a deeper bond between you and the person that you had the disconnect with. It can instantly make you even closer, where even closer than you were before. Mm -hmm. And people don't recognize that. And it's, just, it's, it's almost like, a, like a, uh, when someone says, I'm sorry, genuinely, mm -hmm. which is so hard for most people to do, that when they do it, the other person so appreciates it. And but your, it's not yours, just, no, I'm no, sorry, no, yeah, no, I'm right. Say, yours is like, it's not having to say sorry. You, you, you don't. It is acknowledging and immediately correcting, which is a, I'm sorry, and not only what can I do to make it better, but here, I'm, make, I'm going to make this better. Right. Like right now. Yeah, like right now. And so that carries over when you consult businesses or individuals mm -hmm. on almost any aspect of their enterprise, whether it be uh, a, a business card, whether it be a communication piece, a little yeah. ad, all of this you can enhance in a way that is much more uh, acceptable, received in a way that people will embrace it, a higher percentage of people embrace it. You basically affect bottom line uh, uh, profits on companies or individual businesses. Well, and I think the reason that I, I did recognize that is that, you know, in traveling with all these great leaders and achievers, I mean, people who are the best of the best in business, um, you know, and, you know, being profitable and people like Steve Forbes and, I mean, it goes on and on and on, right? The, the people I've had the chance to be around, I've watched in them too. You know, I mean, like as you said, I've been influenced and mentored by and gotten to know, become friends with and worked with them. And I recognize all these great leaders who have consistent long-term enduring success. They have masterful communication skills and the ability to not, not make mistakes, but to, you know, have the ability to immediately address the situation, recover, take responsibility, and fix that problem right away. And so... Um, obviously, they obviously also have great respect for you. And that's not easily uh, earned and certainly isn't something simply given out by these people. Yeah, they know how to make it the appearance of it. These people you're talking about, I've seen they absolutely, genuinely have a high regard for you, a respect for you as a professional, but much more importantly, as a person, they adore you. 
Well, it's a blessing. So thank you for spending some time to talk about this because it is a huge passion for me. And I realize that my life's experience has exposed me to people that most people don't have the opportunity to get exposed to. And I've learned things that my goal is just to pass that forward because the difference between success and failure is so it's so little, it really is. And it, with a few adjustments, especially in the communication uh, uh, that we have, and that is one-on-one, -on -one, one in a small group, one you know, on 25,000 people in the media, you know, all of that uh, can make or break the difference in your success in business and of course personally. And as Kari Michelson would say, <laughs> it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Thank you, Curry. Thanks, Fred, for spending a few minutes with me. Thank you. Thank you.